The epic container ship is loaded and on the way to Singapore, its first destination port. The crew must check and secure the cargo many times a day, especially the hazardous material in freezer containers. What looks like a smooth ride above water requires maximum concentration below. The engine room, a cathedral of engineering. The engine block is nine stories high. Its tremendous power shakes the whole room, comparable to a small earthquake. The room's temperature is between 100 and 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The metal is so hot that it can cause severe burns. Every day, Li Wai Chi points out the dangers of the job to his team. Safety uh, is the top priority. You got all your safety gears ready, is it? All your safety helmet, chip band, and everything is ready, is it? And in good order. And in engine room, when you sit here, no problem. When you go out, you must put the lift down because everything is hot. And don't touch any engine. No question? Okay, move. Excellent. <laughs> Routine or the slightest carelessness, both can be fatal. At sea, no one can help you, except, uh, oh, I think of someone. God, God may help you, but <laughs> sometimes he forget. <laughs> Chief Engineer Li Wai Chi keeps an eye on one part of the engine in particular, the propeller, and the propeller shaft connected to it. The problem, with a heavy cargo, the shaft is very sensitive to movements. Sharp changes in course, such as tight turns, can cause the shaft to rub against its casing, and in the worst case, start a fire. And a fire on this container ship would be a catastrophe. On the largest container ship in the world, the chief engineer monitors the engine propeller and shaft to avoid a potential fire. If the temperature exceeds a critical point, the chief engineer tells the captain to adjust the course, easing the pressure on the shaft. Too much pressure could result in a fire. And a fire would be catastrophic. In no time, the fire could spread to the entire ship. That's why nearly 800 CO2 bottles are on board. In an emergency, workers could flood the engine room with carbon dioxide and extinguish the fire. But so far, everything is running smoothly, and the ship maintains its course. The bulk of the distance to the port of Singapore now lies behind the crew. Li Wai Chi has performed this task. He has kept one of the world's largest and most powerful diesel engines under control. The first test run of the maiden voyage was a success. In the future, the OOCL Hong Kong will shuttle permanently between Asia and Europe. From China, over Singapore, through the Suez Canal, all the way to England, the Netherlands, Poland, and Germany. A course to the other end of the world in a mere 35 days. A total of six of these giants link the world's markets, delivering fresh supplies for our consumption.